Hi, my name's Gemma and I'm a diagnostic radiographer. My day-to-day -day job, I'll be taking x-rays of broken bones. Um, we do a lot of chest x-rays. It's a really useful tool for anyone in hospital, for a lot of people that are in hospital. We also go to theatres to help surgeons um, sort of visualise what they're doing with bones and also other things. And I also work in MRI, which is using a big magnet to provide information for, to diagnose people. Communication is a really important skill. You're sort of meeting people you've never met before and sort of helping do something for them so you have to be able to communicate well. You ha have to work under pressure, um, so you have to be quite good at decision making. This job suits people that don't really want a desk job. It's quite active, so you're, you're on your feet most of the day and it's quite physical as well. Being caring is a, is a big part of the job, like wanting to help people. It's very rewarding because you are immediately getting, you know, feedback from people that you've sort of helped and made their day that bit easier. Having a bit of a scientific mind and problem solving in that way is also a good skill to have in this job. The most challenging part of my job is probably how busy it can get and sometimes that can be quite overwhelming. You just have to remember to, to just prioritise properly and do the things you can do and it, it works out normally. Um, the best part is sort of immediately being able to help people. Um, if you've got a scared child having an x-ray of their arm, like being able to make them realise it's not actually that worrying and, and they're not as scared, so you sort of have an immediate reward for your job really. And for this job you need a diagnostic radiography degree. And to do that, you need at least one science A level, I think. Once you are qualified in your job and you're working, there's lots of um, training in other imaging that you can do in your job. So I'm learning MRI in the job I do. But you can go on to do things like sonography, um, and that is another qualification. You can be a reporting radiographer, which is another specialism, but that does require you to go off and do another postgraduate qualification. But a lot of those things are part of the job, and so you'd be funded to do that once you're qualified. The current starting salary for a new radiographer is 27,000. Average radiography salary is about 36,000. But depending on how far you go with specialisms or management, you can go quite far and you can really transfer across to other areas, sort of high 40s, high 50s. My knowledge of careers was very limited and I didn't do this until I was um, over 30 because I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was younger. So in this job, there can sometimes be things I haven't come across and I've not really known how to deal with it. Sometimes you've got no choice but to try and figure it out on your own, but actually you're often in a big team with lots of really experienced people. So you're always, there's always someone to ask how they would deal with something and you actually, you know, you're constantly improving because of that.